Sometimes God drives you to a place of desperation. You know, and then he allows those circumstances in your life and then you make that wow that changes the whole course of your life. It's a promise that you make and you keep it. There's another kind of vow, you know, you find in the Bible, you know. It comes as a result of your desire for God. Your desire to do something more for God. You know, nothing forces you, compels you. But it's just that a growing desire in your heart for God. You feel that I want to do something for God. I'm not satisfied with, with what I'm offering for God. There are people in the Bible who are never satisfied with their, you know, with what they gave to God. So they were always trying to do something more for God. That was David. David was one guy who always wanted to do something more for God. He always wanted to stretch his limit of, you know, uh, sacrifice, his, his commitment to God. He always wanted to go that extra mile for God. Because he had such great desire to please God. So one day here he was a king. He was established in his kingdom. He has built his palace, the king of Tyre, King Hiram had sent, uh, you know, cedar wood, stone masons and carpenters and they have built a palace, a royal palace for David as he's sitting in, the, in this bed chamber, royal bed chamber, he's thinking about God. And then he says, well, I live in this royal palace of cedar wood, whereas the Ark of the Covenant remains in the tent. And the Bible says in Psalm 132, David made a vow. He said, I swore to the Lord, I make a vow to the Lord that I will not go up into my bedchamber. I will not climb up into my royal bedchamber. I will not give sleep to my eyes until I build a house for the Lord. He made a vow as a result of his desire to do something more for God. You know, this royal bedchamber, the eastern royal bedchamber, you can imagine it's, it's a real king size bed. Right? And he was there in his royal chamber and all those eastern beds has these galleries, three, four, five steps. And you climb those steps and then there's this place where you have this bed. And he said, I'm not, I'm not going to climb that bed. I'm not going to sleep in the best of my comforts. I'm going to sleep down and I'm not going to give sleep to my eyes unless because the, the Ark of the Covenant remains in the tent. Whereas I'm living in this palace of cedar. It's because of your... You want to express your devotion, your, your desire, the, the love for God and you want to do something more for God. That drives you to make your vow. 